Yeah. Now that everyone is situated, let's uh, get acquainted. Uh, Jason, would you like to start? Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Bourne. Hi, Jason. And I am a government asset. And where are you stationed? Paris. I'm Jason Bourne, also a government asset. Oh, and I'm from Paris as well. Yeah, I'm Jason, uh, Berlin. Budapest. Bosnia. Brazil. Aaron Cross, Arctic Circle. He doesn't even go here! I just have a lot of feelings. Now, I see some fresh faces, uh, but don't be shy. We like to encourage open communication and uh, expression. Uh, Jenny here will be passing out the CIA 12-step uh, workbook for newcomers. Um, so let's go and get started. Uh, first, Jason, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right, Jason. That's what we're here for, is to discuss problems like that. Would anyone else like to share uh, what they're dealing with? Hyperactive reflexes, uh, headaches, broken dreams? Yeah. Yeah, I got something. Oh, yes, Jason. Uh, well, well this, this one time, there was this foreign dictator I had to assassinate on his yacht. But I had a, a change of heart. I didn't kill him. But, but what did I get in return? He shot me in the back. I've been suffering from memory loss ever since. <laughs> it's not. It must be uh, difficult for you. Anything else? I can't even walk in my own embassy without the U.S. military trying to beat me down, forcing me to scale down the building in the bitter cold. Do I look like Spider-Man? Now, do I? I'm not. Because of some Swiss police, I had to pay 20 grand for a ride to Paris. I've been living off Top Ramen ever since. Do you know how many flavors there are? Not many. Not many. Yeah, and what's with these bank accounts being implanted in our hips? Really, I chafed for a week. No one wants to chafe for a week. Every time I get a picture text, it's never from a cute girl. It's just another encoded message from Treadstone telling me to kill another person. And the CIA does not pay for media messaging, by the way. No, that comes out of my pocket. From Switzerland to Paris, in a Mini Cooper. Do you have any idea how many of those things are? Who needs the leg room? That's not me. Why is everyone trying to pin everything on me? A SWAT team gets ambushed here, an agent dies there. Oh, must be Jason Bourne, better get in the National Guard. Do you have any idea what they charge the airlines now for kenneling? I mean, I gotta bring little Jason with me everywhere in the overhead. Do you know how hard it is to keep a girlfriend? I mean, I have to go through the whole process of disclosing I'm a former assassin, only to have her shot in the head the second date. I haven't been laid in three years. Three. Well, it looks like you guys have a lot on your mind. Perhaps a suggestion box would be a... Good idea. Uh, now let's get started. Uh, first, I'll have you delve into what it is. Wrong. Or this is Sports wrong. Anonymous. Wrong or wrong. Camps. We're going to get into the concept of wrong. And we're, we're just going to delve. Hey, do you have any cams? Now, if you're comfortable, I'll get right into this. Cams. Do you have any cams? Don't worry about how long you're listening to me taking inspiration from Jason. Let's move on, shall we? Um, How's everybody doing with their 12 steps? Jason, you're on step seven, correct? Uh, why don't you take a moment, share your progress with the group, and explain to everybody what step seven is. Step seven is forgiveness. Uh, you're supposed to make a list of everyone you've wronged and then apologize if you can. Yes, exactly. Now, how far are you on that list? Let's see. Six? I'm, I'm at six. Out of how many? 413. Okay. So wrong. Does, does that include everything or just murder? It's a great question. We mean instances where you have severely wronged someone. Now, take for example, has anyone ever stolen a car? Now, it may not seem like much, but what if that car belonged to a pregnant mother or a pizza delivery boy? I know it seems like a good idea when you're trying to outrun the police or the Russian mafia, but in reality, you may have seriously destroyed someone's life. I guess maybe we should all just take a moment to recognize the people we have loved, lost, and brutally murdered. 
I'm going to have to agree with Jason. I love you guys. I love you. I love you, Jason. Ah. Uh.